Hey guys, today we're going to look at the Coast BX312. Here it is. Already got a little zip tie on it. And we're going to think, think it through if it's worth the $10 asking price. This is the box it comes in. And uh, here's the price. Reduced from $22 as MSRP to $9.99. Let's look at it. And as you can see, I put in the wave, the zip tight, so that it can be wave extracted out of your uh, pocket. And that works pretty nicely, yes. It has a G10 scales, and they're milled out, including the liners. So it comes out to a very nice, decent weight in the hand. No lanyard hole, but it really fits in the hand nice and the thumb ramp is right where it should be. I mean, look at the fingers. It's got this index finger groove and then the three fingers just slide back nicely. And if you push to get more room, you've got more room. In the reverse grip, it's just perfect like that. And hidden away should you come to a situation where you have to protect yourself with this knife it's very doable it's got this little uh, part of the scale the handle sticking out so you can jab someone you don't have to use the rough edge <laughs> the serrations here are just uh, good for nothing basically they don't cut anything they're just for looks and why don't I show you that here are the serrations they just they just glide. They don't even penetrate paper. The plain edge also is not very good, but at least it cuts. Yeah. This is a high gloss chrome paper. You know, it should be very easy to cut. But out of the box, this thing is not very good. And as soon as it hits the serration, the serrations part, it just... <coughs> just stops dead in its track. The other coast I reviewed on this channel for maybe a couple of times is the 352, the FX 352, full flat grind, gorgeous knife, I really like it. Made correctly, like a beast, very sharp, does the job, very different from this one. Frame lock, high pocket grip, a uh, high pocket clip, sorry. Other lockbacks we reviewed. The Walmart Ozark Trail Classic Lockback. 387 knife. Very nice. Definitely worth four bucks. And the Buck Nano Bantam. And let's see if that one fits here. Oh yeah, it does. And it's Improvement by San Ren Mu, the BUC 6040, which I compared to it on this other video. Wonderful knife, has everything the Nano Bantam is lacking for half the price. <laughs> yeah, gorgeous knife. That's another lock back. And of course, the granddaddy of all lockbacks. <laughs> The Voyager XL five and a half inch blade. The monster of a knife, yeah. <laughs> so, let's get back to the original question. Is that BX312 worth 10 bucks? Well, you know, usually when I ask this question, <laughs> the answer is probably no. And this is very borderline. Do you really want to spend 10 bucks on something that the serrations don't work and don't cut. I mean, the, the fine edge or the plain edge just barely cuts. And uh, it's made in China, of course, like all the others. But uh, it just it just barely makes it, maybe. You know, for 10 bucks, it was 22 MSRP. So I picked it up to look at it. And uh, if you are interested, this one's at uh, the Sierra Trading Post website. You can grab it for 10 bucks. Yeah. 
Just give it a good thought before you do. Okay, let's keep it short and simple. Don't spend your hard-earned 10 bucks on this one. Till next time, bye-bye.